How to fix Toyota Vios car engine misfiring while driving this car and no fault codes and the check engine light comes on with the ignition key on, but after starting the check engine light is off see full how to check and how to repair greetings and congratulations from this video channel. Starting the car engine and keeping the gear selected in the P position reduces idling. First, start the car engine and see what is the problem with the car. I started the engine of the car with your condition on and there is no problem, but when I select the gear shift R or D position to drive the engine misfiring, I am sitting inside the car so I can't show you, looking at the steering wheel of the car you can feel the engine of the car. A lot of shaking. Gear shift parking position then check engine fault code with scan computer. I use Auto Land Scan 3, but no fault code. Now I will go out and show the car engine how much seeking is happening due to engine misfiring. See engine misfiring when gear shift is selected in D or R position to drive but how to fix this problem. There can be many reasons for a car's engine to misfire, I can easily understand if there is an engine fault code what is the problem. But there is no engine fault code, you have to check one by one to solve the engine misfiring problem. Car battery charge and alternator charging volts is fine no problem. I will check MAF sensor and wiring harness no problem, how to check MAF sensor watch video link is given in description. Check to the ignition coil but no coil problem and replace the plug and engine misfiring problem did not go away. I have to open the fuel injector of this car to check and service the fuel injector. I will checking but no problem. Check fuel pressure regulator and fuel pump pressure ok no problem. The fuel injector socket is broken so I will change the socket and install a new socket and check if changing the socket fixes the problem or not. If there is a misfiring problem then check the fuel injector wiring. Number 1 on ignition switch 12 voltage Number 2 start engine ECU ground signal First I will check number 1 ignition switch 12 voltage Be sure to put the car's ignition switch in the on position to check Use digital LED test light to check Attach a side clip to the battery negative side of the LED test light to test Connect the LED test light to the injector socket. If the LED test light turns red, you should know that there is no problem with your 12 volt supply. Check the number 1 wire supply 12 volts to your vehicle's injector socket. If the LED test is not red, check the start fuse and if the start relay is damaged, replace it. On ignition key supply 12 volt no problem so connect injector socket. Now check the number 2 engine ECU ground signal connection line. Attach a side clip to the battery positive side of the LED test light to test. Second I will check the number 2 engine ECU ground signal. Be sure to start the car engine to check. Use digital LED test light to check. First, I will check the geo ground signal of injector number 2. If the LED test light blinks and the light is yellow, then I will understand that the injector wire to engine ECU ground signal is OK. Now I will check the engine ECU ground signal for fuel injector number 3. No connection to engine ECU ground signal at number 3 full injector, yellow light on LED test light not flashing. The engine ECU of Toyota Vios is located under the glove box on the passenger side. Use multimeter to check engine ECU problem or wiring problem set to ohms position beeping sound. If the wiring from the engine ECU to the fuel injector is broken, the multimeter will not beep. If the wiring is good, the multimeter will beep. Fuel injector number 3 ground signal wire from engine AQ no problem connection no problem so I will open engine AQ. 
fuel injector number 3 wiring socket wire shot connection caused the engine AQ problem so I change it and install another same engine AQ and test it to see if the problem of engine misfiring is fixed or not. If you change the Toyota engine ECU, you must check the ECU part number to see if the part number is the same. If the part numbers are the same then there is no problem, here are two Toyota engine ECU slash ECM part numbers are same. Now I will install the engine ECU connect the sockets of the ECU cable well so that the sockets do not become loose or have connection problems. Toyota Veosheer Model 2 Tosan 11 engine ECU slash ECM change requires no reset or setting. You can change the engine ECU and start the engine without any problem. After installing the engine ECU, start the engine and check whether the engine is misfiring or not. Engine does not misfire when gear shift is selected in D or R position. Now the engine does not shake like before. Now I will go outside and show you that if you start the car engine and change the gear shift, the engine is now very smooth if you have trouble understanding something after watching the video, please comment in the video comment box. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.